We are here at Clarence Pier, which is opening this weekend for the 2024 season with a new ride as well coming in. Bit of a famous ride as well for the theme park enthusiasts that want to come down to Clarence and ride it. But we're going to take you around the park now and show you the preparations as we are only days away now from the park reopening for the new year. We start the update here. Now, we have got a different shade of pink this year. As we said, all the rides are lovely painted up. It is slightly brighter. However, the big thing is the lights are back, including brand new LEDs in this. And I've sent a video of it, because I've sent a video of it uh, going round with the lights on, and at night time it is going to look incredible. So yeah, Twister, ready to go. Let me just say, all the rides are ready to go for this year, looking shiny and bright. There's a few finishing touches going off, as we will see around the park. Waltzer looks super clean, especially given the age of it. It's a retro waltz, so really, this one. But what condition it's in. We've been all painted up for this year as well. We've been painted up there. We've got brand new gates. We'll show you those in a second. So a nice new gate catches as well. Makes this uh, enclosed a lot better. Very bright at the front. As we know, the lights on this are superb. They really are superb. So ride is shining nicely. Now you will notice over here, there's nothing here yet. We'll get to that very, very soon. Because there is going to be some rides coming in for this year. It's like being at the seaside, unbelievably. Now then, the Gallopers have had all new lights for this year and it is singing. We know these have been painted. We show you the, well, we saw these actually during the closed season. This is one of the best examples. It is just stunning, really, really is stunning looking machine. All ready for the new season. Now, although we're not in smell -o vision uh, this is currently being painted at the moment. The final touch-ups are ongoing even goes round look so new control systems on this one the teacups and a massive massive upgrade on the log flume as well look at it now log flume is also on and ready to go so this used to have just about there a really massive control panel like like a robot sort of machine size it was huge however that has now gone and it's got a much more streamlined brand new one for 2024 Okay, it's unsure at the moment whether or not I'm going to get wet standing here. I, I don't know. We'll find out in a second. If I get wet. Now, many know this is a soaker, this one. So you see new control panel there. We're not going to get too close to it because the ride's obviously active. But new control panel there compared to the massive unit that used to freestand there. But as you can see, boat very much on, ready to go. It is windy up here, but we do have four trains ready to go. So there's only three last year. The coaster has five, and the fifth one will also be ready if needed for busy periods. But we're back up the four already for the start of the season. That was the teacups in action. So let's show you around the rest of the park. The wind very much took grip and you wouldn't have heard a thing I'm saying. Now here's the tidal wave coaster. That is ready to go for 2024. Despite reports, this has not been sold and is currently due to open at the park. New for last year was the bugs. They just finished the testing on this, the cleaning up of it and the final checks as well. That will very much be open for this weekend for the start of the season. Around from the bugs as well, we see the wonderful seals. Had some extra theme input on last year. Still shining, still shining bright. This old ride from Weymouth Sea Life looks fantastic in the sun today. There's a lot going on to the right of this as well with the dodgems. They've not been fully raised yet. However, there's a lot of buffering and cleaning going onto the track. They are right by the sea air, so it does get a bit of a hammering during the closed season. So that's being cleaned up now, ready for this weekend, where that will be open as well. As we pan around, the upside down house is returning for this year as well. There's an absolute value in there. It's brilliant for photo opportunities. And we can see bungee cords and trampolines, which will be coming in brand new 
new for 2024 as well. You can see the trampolines here already up. And as we look around, the bungees will, well, they're going up right now again, will be ready for the start of the season. Lots going on down this bottom end of the park as that all comes together. However, we know what you're looking at, and let's head over there now and explain to you what's happening. Here is the site of the two rides for 2024 that have yet to arrive but will or certainly should be here and up and running for the opening weekend. Where we're standing now is going to be the space for the Super Trooper. A Super Trooper is returning. You can see the marks on the floor where they've laid it out to be. Now, I didn't actually realise there's different sizes of these. So this is a uh, this is a smaller Super Trooper to what they had before and is um, Perrin Stevens' Super Trooper, which has been located at Alton Towers for the last couple of years. So if you want to come and ride Alton Towers' old Super Trooper, the one that's been there, this is the place to come for 2024. Quite a big space. These all look massive spaces, but once the rides are there, it really does change. It really does change. But that's not it. Returning for this year as well will be Tornado, the freakout ride. As you can see, the massive... Uh, concrete pillars which sit in the corners as it pans out and it takes up the space right the way over to the wall area that will be back for 2024 putting two massive thrill rides at the front of the park now you can see all the markings here and you can see that having a, a five or six foot smaller super trooper makes a massive difference in the spacings between the walkway of where you will need to go so great to see that coming back for next year Open this weekend, the 2nd of March. Make sure you get down to Clarence Pier this weekend for opening and show your support. Tokens are a pound each. Great value. 50 tokens for £25 is an absolute steal. £30 per person for day wristbands and £15 if you come for an evening. When they are open for evenings, not quite at the beginning of the season. But as always, a massive thank you for Clarence for inviting us down to have a look around. Make sure you're down there this weekend. We will be going to check it out for the opening time. Thanks for joining us here on UK Theme Parks. We'll see you next time.